Challenge. We played that event uh, two weeks ago down in Palos Verdes, and um, we finished in fourth place, which was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, but given the circumstances, we had one of our best players, Stephanie Kona, was out of the lineup for the event, and uh, I thought, given that, the team did okay. Um, we had some up and downs, and um, you know, thankfully and and fortunately, Glory Yang played very well and finished in sixth place. Um, individually, which was her has been her best best finish thus the far this season. So um, I think that's that's really good, and it bodes well for us in the future because we really need Glory to do well, and and in order for our team to be successful this year. So all in all, it wasn't our finest performance, but uh, I think that it was a it was a good test for us and gave us a lot of things to work on um, and see some improvements for the da for down the road. So. We, you know, that's one thing we've had in years past, I think, a bit more depth than we do this year. Um, not That's not to say that our Lalita, who played in our fifth position, um, I thought she did quite well, um, given the fact that she's never really been in the lineup, I think, more than twice in her entire career. So um, she had scores that tied, and, you know, we didn't, we didn't, although we didn't count technically all of her scores, um, her scores were still tied for our um, what was our highest score. But it's a great experience for, for Lala to get out there and play for the team, and I was proud of her effort. I thought she did a good job, um, given what she's had experience-wise. We're co-hosting a tournament next week um, with Pepperdine. It's the first time we've done this, and we haven't been involved in hosting a tournament in, gosh, probably six, seven years since it's been that we hosted it at, at uh, Robinson Ranch. So um, we're hosting the tournament at Robinson Ranch Golf Club up in Santa Clarita. Um, we have 18 teams coming, um, which is a very full field, and um, a lot of great programs. Uh, number one, ASU, um, obviously ourselves, Pepperdine, USC will be there, Stanford will be there. We have a huge contingent from the Pac-10, so um, I think it's going to be a very good tournament. And uh, we will have Stephanie Kono back in our lineup uh, this event. She's been playing and is healthy. And uh, so we're looking forward to getting her back out there and feel like we can have a really good event. We're, we're back on track, I think, as a team. Uh, the girls have worked very hard over the last couple of weeks, really making some changes after what we did at Palos Verdes. So I think we're much more prepared for this event. Um, I feel very good about the team and very confident that we're going to have a very strong finish. Currently, the top five are what has been our traditional top five, which is uh, Glory Yang, Stephanie Kono. Um, Brianna Doe, Tiffany Lua, and Sydney Michaels. Well, Glory obviously played very well at Palos Verdes. Um, her top her top ten finish, she earned an exemption um, based on our team rules into um, the the Robinson Ranch event. She is playing so well. Um, I'm I'm so impressed with the changes that she's made in her golf swing and. Um, I'm just really excited about what she's going to be able to do this spring. I think she's starting to feel it too that it's she's come a long way with her game and it's going to start it's going to start paying back um, some of the hard work that she's put in. So excited to see her. Um, Stephanie Kono obviously coming off uh, an injury and you know she's probably about 90 95 percent right now. She's not quite 100 percent. Um, and she's going to be using a pull cart for the rest of the season. Thank goodness they allow us to do that. But um, that'll be really important for her just to, you know, take some of the strain off of her back and, and uh, keep her healthy. But she looks really good, um, had a very good practice this morning, um, starting to gain some of her confidence back. And, uh, you know, this will be the first test out for her. And I know, you know, she's a little bit nervous about it because she hasn't competed in a while. But um, I know Stephanie, I know that she tends to shine under pressure, so I think she's going to do really well. Um, Brianna Doe has really continued to amaze me with the improvements that she's made in her game. Um, she was a little bit off at Palos Verdes and uh, with her swing, but just a couple of key things that we've worked on over the last week and just trying to get her to focus her attention on just a few very small things, the small tasks that if she does those well, 
her swing, you know, you can trust, she can trust it and it's, she's going to do, she's going to hit the ball really well. Um, we spent a little time working on her putting yesterday, um, just trying to solidify that. As I told her yesterday, her putting's about 50-50. Half the time she makes a great stroke and it's perfect. The other half the time she's a little bit sloppy and she misses her putts. So um, if she can just be a little bit more diligent, a little bit more focused on just a very simple thought, then um, I'm, I'm expecting her to also do very well. Um, <clears throat> Tiffany Lua has continued. Um, she works really hard, and I'm, I'm very pleased with her, the way her pra she practices, very focused at practice. Um, she's, you know, I think one of the biggest challenges for Tiffany is a lack of distance. Um, she's not a very long hitter, but she's very straight, very accurate, and typically a very good putter. Um, what plagued her at Palace Verdes was her putting. She really struggled. And, um, but she's worked on her putting since then, and she went and took a lesson with um, her putting instructor um, who pointed out some very important things. And since that time, she's really done a lot better. So um, I, I think she's on the verge of playing some very good golf. So we'll, we'll see if it's, pal uh, or if it's um, at Robinson Ranch, but she's, she's doing well. And Sydney Michaels, who, you know, again, she just, just finished out of the top 20 down at Palos Verdes. Um, Sydney had a great fall. She's one of the highest ranked players in the country. And, you know, she's been, I would say at Palos Verdes, she's a little bit off of her game. She's made a few changes that she's not necessarily that comfortable with yet. They haven't completely, you know, solidified. But she's very close to playing some excellent golf. And oddly enough, it's, you know, maybe one or two swings that have sort of plagued her over the last week where she'd be playing really well, you know, two, three under par, and then, you know, hit one wild shot that goes, you know, up against a fence and, you know, that type of thing. So um, I talked with her today about it, and the plan is at, Pal at uh, excuse me, I keep saying Palace Parties, at Robinson Ranch, that um, I'm going to go along with her during the round and basically let her play freely without, in, um, without getting involved unless she gets into some type of trouble because she's been making some poor decisions when she's under – the gun, um, you know, and has to think about, you know, her options and things like that. So the plan right now is that during the event, at least during the first round, that I'm going to go out with Sydney and, and watch her play. And then if she has any issues or any shot that's going to demand something that she needs to put a little thought into, then I'm going to step in and give her some feedback about um, what to do and maybe some options. So, um, but I think if we can just eliminate just a couple of mistakes, then, I mean, she's going to, she's really going to tear it up. So. Um, pretty normal for her to have a little bit of a down this type of time of season. I think it's been her pattern. So we really just want to rally her out of it as quickly as possible and get her feeling good about her game.